with the lifestyle we have, I don't see a baby fitting in. For Michael, having a baby is having a little toy. You play with it and you hand it over to Marina. <laughs> This kid is dealing with Anna. Okay. He's trying to take her on a date. There's obviously some kind of chemistry between me and Anna. Wow. What did I just got myself into? I'll take the flowers Bam. since you didn't buy me any. I couldn't afford the flowers. At least you're honest. <laughs> Russians, we had a party and we just go all out. Like we have huge dinners, champagne, wine, vodka, everything. We need to get crazy. <laughs> People are definitely gonna get tipsy and definitely gonna get flirty. Look oh, really, really cute tonight. Oh my. Almost shot. Two friends. Oh, I was fucking old. <laughs> Me to stay. I don't really but care. You don't, you sure? Hold up, <laughs> hold up. Over the last few months, me and Anna definitely, we've become good friends. Are you single? Yeah, I'm just enjoying life, you know. <laughs> There's obviously some kind of chemistry between me and Anna. And um, I realized that I've developed some kind of feelings for her. I'm glad that you came out. I think you're awesome. I love you, Albert. Albert is a really sweet guy. I can totally confide in him, and I see Albert as one of my girlfriends. Um, Alb, I have a date. Oh, wow. That's bull****. You gotta stay. I can have a conversation with you. I cherish our friendship, but but I'm gonna go crazy. Sometimes you're just like, mm. I don't I wanna get out of that friend zone. Okay. <laughs> when you have kids, more kids, it's more joy in the family. The more you have, it's better. I think it's uh, time for Michael and Marina to have a baby. Having a big family, it, uh, this is another way to show its success. This is my grandmother said to me, your kids is your capital, and your grandkids is your percentage. <laughs> the problem is that it has to be a joint decision. Of course, you should convince her, because this is very important for the kids also to have brothers and sisters. I'm ready, but Marina is giving me a hard time. She feels now that we already have two kids that are grown, at this point, she can live a life for herself. I'm under a lot of pressure from my mom to get Marina on board to have a baby number three. But it's a very big step. And this is good for you, for you, for your family. Deep down, she wants one. All I gotta do is reawaken that feeling, that's all. You will see, she will, she will love to have more. The time is ripe now to have one more. Yeah. <laughs> Girls always want to play game. The minute they feel that we guys have an interest in them, then they start playing their game. I'm done playing games. I'm going to the party tonight. I'm going to be smooth about it, take her to the side, and I'm asking Anna out tonight. Ooh. This kid is dealing with Anna. OK. But a beautiful woman like that that gets approached. They always, you know, she, There's she, always guys that went out of their way. Exactly. To do She's something a, special for you, know what I mean? We know that well, you want to have a relationship. I want her to feel like she's accomplishing something by being with a guy like me. Not like she's doing me a favor. She's going to put you in the friend zone. Oh, the friend zone sucks. My first reaction was like, are you kidding me? Do you not see what type of girl she is? You, you think that she thinks that you, you guys just friends and nothing else? Um, yeah. But I think Anna is out of Albert's league. And I'm not even sure where this is going to end up. I think this is what has to happen with Anna. Exactly. Show her that you're different from all the other boys. With her, you got to show that you're a man. You understand? Albert needs to show a class. You have to be sophisticated. We will never understand women. What we have to do as a guys is to adjust. It's like a poker game. I know I'm going in with the best hand. Is the best hand will stand at the end? I have no idea. But as long as you know you're going with the best hand, you understand? Boris is right. It's all about confidence. I just got to play my cards right, and I'll get out of the friend zone. Yeah. I hope everything will work out. Everything will. I think that guys and girls can be friends, 
but when someone announces that they have feelings, things usually go sour. Absolutely, I totally agree with but you. But I have actually dated a friend and it turns into a two year relationship. Whoa, now you're not friends with him though. No, that's it. Doesn't that suck though? Like I've had female friends that I haven't slept with. How many? Not that many, but you know. <laughs> Send a bottle of champagne upstairs, please. Absolutely. I have arranged for a beautiful romantic evening for Marina and I. But I want to talk to her about having a third child. Okay, Marina, this is us. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cute. It's like a little sweet. I think that tonight is going to be a home run. Wow. Maria, this you're going to love. They have a balcony. Oh, my God. That's huge. Marina, check out the view over there. It's good, baby. It's good. Let's have some champagne. Okay. Usually, when Michael is doing something nice for me, he definitely wants something in return. <laughs> OK, shoot. <laughs> Here's to us, to our love, to our family. Our family is so beautiful. I want to drink this <laughs> to the I know where this is going. <laughs> of our family. Oh, my god. We have always talked about it. You want it. That doesn't mean that I want it. And bottom line, I'm ready anytime. I know Even tonight, ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> For Michael, having a baby is having a little toy. It's cute, it's cuddly, you play with it, you kiss it, you hug it, you take pictures, and you hand it over to Marina, who has to do all the hard work. So here is the thing, with the lifestyle we have today right now, I don't see a baby fitting into that picture. For us to have a baby, our lifestyle has to change. Running a restaurant and a nightclub, you have to be there. It's a night job, and having a newborn baby just doesn't fit into that at all. If we need to get a nanny, we'll get a nanny. We can afford to take it's a nanny. It's not the point of afford. You don't have a baby to hand it over to the nanny and to just go party. And a lot of women in our Which community, in mother. our neighborhood, do that. I can't do that. I put my heart and soul into my kids. I'm not the kind of mother who wants to have a baby just to hand one over. Chuck, here's the child. Peace out. Call me if the child is sick or needs anything. I don't want to do that. I need you to get less involved with Rasputin. I am not ready to step away. That's fine. And I'm not ready to have another baby. It's a hard trade-off. You can't say, baby Rasputin. What do you think? I'm going to be home with three kids and a nanny? That's not my idea of a good weekend. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. I'm throwing a party, and it's party time tonight. Get okay, done. Cheers. Brian Beach, It's all the <laughs> that goes on in Brian Beach. Woo! Very nice. Woo! Woo! Well, well, let's drink to every guy that comes our way. Is someone party good? That's, that's yeah. Great. Cheers. Perfect. How's your night going, honey? Very good. Thank You're, you. You having a good time? Yeah. And it's really hot, and I'm going to make a move on her. I'm going to ask her out, and I want to ask her for dinner. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay. And I want to just find the right moment because I want this to be memorable. I want this to be special. I want this to be romantic. Oh boy, let me get out of here. Guys, Those two shots are for you guys, right there. Guys, we're gonna play a Russian game right now. It's called Fantiki. For singles only. You have Everyone to pick out the first pick one. Pick a question. Let's go. Make out with the hottest girl and guy you think is hot. Hottest girl. Next hottest girl, you know, huh? Okay. This is bull I, I don't want to, you know, have our first kiss if it's supposed to mean anything to happen here in front of all these drunk people. <laughs> Albert pulled back from kissing me. I'm so embarrassed. What a horrible <laughs> game this is. <laughs> it's a freaking game, for sakes. It's just a, a peck on the lips. It's nothing serious. You should have tongue out, though. I know. I'm a gentleman. I don't do Gentlemen, of course. What is this, fourth grade games? When Albert pulled back and didn't hook up with Anna, I was like, 
Are you kidding me, dude? Like, we talked about it. We built everything up to get to that point. What are you crazy? I'll make, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make, I'll make Please, that's you. I'll make out with my own terms, all right? When no one's here watching me. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely up. Albert is an idiot for pulling back. Why are you so sorry? I'm fine. What did I do? This game sucks. Albert sucks. This entire party sucks. So, what do you have to say? Uh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I really did not want to hurt your feelings. I asked Anna to meet me for coffee so I could explain to her why I didn't want to kiss her in front of everyone at the party. I really feel bad that uh, you felt rejected. It really wasn't my intentions at all. I thought that just kissing you because a game said so, I didn't want to do it while there's people around us, like, cheering us on for this. I don't know. I just didn't see it as such a big, big deal. Um, it's now or never. Time to make my move. I think that we're too old for these games anyways. For you, it might have been a little kiss, but for me, it was, it was our first kiss, and I wanted it to be something more monumental. Definitely don't want to ruin our friendship. I actually want to take it to the next level and make it even better. I want to take you out on a real date and see where things go. So will you go out with me? Sure. <laughs> I care for you, and you know that. You know, you're a great guy, and a girl is going to be very lucky to be your girlfriend. But is it me? I don't know. Is it? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to experiment and see where things will go. Oh, boy. What did I just got myself into? I'm excited about our date. I'm super excited. After my last attempt to convince Marina to have another child did not work, I came up with a plan. Hello. Hi, Masha. Hi, Julia. How are you? you? Operation Baby is in motion. And I've asked Marina's friend to borrow her baby. Julie! Yes! Actually, Julie's going to stay with us. She's going to stay? OK, I'll take her. No, no, she's asking us baby to You'll stay with her? Yeah. Staying with Marina. OK. If this doesn't work, I don't know what else will. I gotta go to work. Oh, great. You so it's all you, baby, OK? Stop with the toddler who's running around. Just watch the stairs, buddy. I am. That's what... Uh-oh. Yeah, princess. Princess, wow. <laughs> Mina, can you clean it up? Can you pick it up and throw it out? For a while, everything was good. Me and Mina were trying to keep Julie safe and happy and occupied. That didn't work for too long. Michael, help me! Michael! Ugh. Me chasing a baby around with absolutely no help from Michael. This is exactly the reason why I don't want to have another child. Julie, you want yogurt? After this experience, I know for a fact I'm not ready. Babies are total chick magnets. They're you like know, little dogs, you know? You could take <laughs> them everywhere, and, and everyone's like, oh my god, can I pet him? Can I touch him? What's his name? Babies are good when it's not your baby, you know what I mean? They're like little cute things. You play with them, you dress them up. They're good to rent for a day or two, you know? <laughs> Do whatever you want with them. I'm not having babies anytime soon. Girly! Hi! How are you? Mwah. Good. Come on in. Thank you. Hi. Mwah. I'm really nervous about this date because I definitely consider Albert um, one of my really, really good guy friends. So, I found out that Albert actually has feelings for me. He asked me on a date. He's like, hey, dinner, an orange grill. Oh, gonna you're show in. flowers. <laughs> he's gonna what? He's no gonna way. No, I have, he's not flowers, something. What are you gonna do? I don't know, because I, I consider, I told him, I used to tell him everything. Like, I never seen him as anything but a friend. I feel so bad. It's really going to change everything. I know. I don't have feelings from not attracted to him in any way. Do you know what I mean? He's not my type. Oof, I think that you're gonna crush his little heart today. 
I don't want to hurt his feelings at all. Even if you hurt his feelings, you have to be honest with him and say, listen, uh, I don't have feelings for you. You know, it's official if Albert buys you a toy. Because you know how, like, all your guys buy you toys? Oh, I don't even know what to wear.